Dear students, today you are going to learn about comparison of fractions. Comparison of fractions. To compare fractions, we can use inequality signs. I think you have learned about inequality signs in the first term. The symbols greater than and less than are called inequality signs. By using them, let's learn about comparison of fractions. We learn it today under four types. First type, comparison of fractions having the numerator as 1. That means unit fractions. Suppose that you are given to compare the unit fractions 1 half and 1 third. These two unit fractions can be represented using diagrams. You can see that the colored portion in the first diagram is larger than the colored portion in the second diagram. Therefore, one half is the largest fraction out of these two fractions. It can be written with symbols as one half is greater than one third. Hence, we can conclude that in unit fractions, the larger fraction is the fraction with the smaller denominator. Let's see another example. Compare 1 11 and 1 7. Can you tell me what is the fraction with the smaller denominator out of these two fractions? You can see that that is 1 seventh. So, it is the largest fraction and the smallest fraction is 1 eleventh. So, you can write it with symbols 1 eleventh is smaller than 1 seventh. Now, you are given a question. Filling the blanks with the suitable symbol greater than or less than. Let's learn the second type. Comparison of fractions having the same numerator. Now you are given an example. Compare 3 fifth and 3 seventh. You can see that in these two fractions the numerators are equal. That means they have same numerator. You learn to write proper fractions in terms of unit fractions in our second video lesson. Therefore, you can express 3 fifths as 3 1 fifths and 3 seventh as 3 1 seventh. We learned that the fraction with the smaller denominator is the largest fraction now. So, 1 fifth is greater than 1 seventh. Since 1 fifth is greater than 1 seventh, you can write that 3 fifth is greater than 3 seventh. In these two fractions, the numerators are equal. Hence, we can conclude that out of two fractions having the same numerator, the larger fraction is the fraction with the smaller denominator. Let's see another example. Compare 5 ninth and 5 sixth. 5 ninth can be expressed as 5 1 ninth and 5 sixth as 5 1 sixth. You know that 1 ninth is less than 1 sixth. Since 1 ninth is smaller than 1 sixth, 5 ninth is smaller than 5 sixth. Now you are given a question. Filling the blanks with the suitable symbol greater than or less than. Now let's learn the third type. Comparison of fractions having the same denominator. First example, compare 3 8 and 5 8. You can see that in these two fractions the denominators are equal. These two fractions can be represented by using diagrams. 
in these two diagrams you can see that the colored portion in the second diagram is larger than the colored portion in the first one thus the larger fraction is 5 8 it can be written with symbols as 3 8 is smaller than 5 8 i have taught now in these two fractions the denominators are equal so we can conclude that out of two fractions having the same denominator the larger fraction is the fraction with the larger numerator let's see another example compare 4 fifth and 1 fifth in these two fractions the denominators are same therefore the larger fraction is the fraction with the larger numerator what is that fraction that is 4 fifth so it can be written as 4 fifth is larger than 1 fifth now you are given a question filling the blanks with the suitable symbol greater than or less than you are given a homework first question filling the blanks with the suitable symbols greater than or less than second question write the fractions in each of the following parts in ascending order that means in increasing order let's learn the fourth type more on comparison of fractions suppose that you are given two fractions one half and three fourth to compare are the numerators equal no are the denominators equal no here you can see that both the numerators and denominators are unequal if you want you can represent these two fractions using diagrams then you can compare easily in the first one it is shaded one part out of two equal parts in the second figure it is shaded three parts out of four equal parts can you tell me which is shaded more the second diagram that means the fraction represented by the second diagram is greater than the fraction represented by the first diagram that is one half is less than three fourth it is somewhat difficult to compare all the fractions using diagrams so let's learn to compare fractions using equivalent fractions the same fractions one half and three fourth are considered you can see that it is easy to make the denominators equal in these two fractions using equivalent fractions let's make the denominators equal in these two fractions by writing an equivalent fraction for the fraction one half for that you have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2 1 into 2 2 2 into 2 4 that is 2 fourth now the denominators are equal you learnt in the third type of comparison of fractions when the denominators are equal the fraction with the larger numerator is the larger fraction that means in these two fractions 3 fourth is the largest one hence 2 fourth is less than 3 fourth so 1 half is less than 3 fourth now let's consider another example compare 2 third and 1 fifth you can see that in these two fractions also the denominators are unequal as well as the numerators are also unequal so you have to write equivalent fractions for these two fractions 
Now let us make the denominators of these two fractions equal. For that you have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator in the first fraction by 5. And in the second fraction you have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3. The first fraction 2 into 5 10, 3 into 5 15. In the second fraction 1 into 3 3, 5 into 3 15. Now the denominators are equal. So the fraction with the larger numerator is the larger fraction that is 10 15th. So 10 15th is larger than the fraction 3 15th. That means 2 3rd is greater than 1 5th. Now I think that you can understand well how to compare the fractions with unequal denominators. You are given a question. Filling the blanks with the suitable symbols greater than or less than. You are given a homework too. Write answers for the exercise 9.4 in the textbook. I will be back in the next lesson in this unit. Don't forget to subscribe us. Thank you.